Welcome to an AP Human Geography video on spatial concepts. So what are some examples of spatial concepts? Well, absolute location is one, like the coordinates, we're using latitude and longitude, and a place's address. It's the approximate location of something. It's unique to that place. Uh, so the coordinates of Chicago is unique to Chicago. Places like New York, Toronto, and Seattle don't have the coordinates that Chicago has. Relative location is the location of a place based on another place. A good example of this is Texas is west of Mississippi. Another example is Louisiana is west of Mississippi. These are the relative location of these places. Places, uh, what are some characteristics of a place? Well, unique features of a place. The flags of these two places, Louisiana and Mississippi, are unique features of this place. The culture and the boundaries are also uh, unique features of the places. Places also have a flow, which is basically just the interaction between uh, the places. Uh, so the flow could be people migrating from one state to another. The flow could be goods going to one state from another as well. Um, the flow between Louisiana and Mississippi is going to be greater between the flow between Texas and Mississippi. Why? Because of distance decay. Distance decay is the phenomenon that the farther a place is from another, the less interaction that will take place. Uh, the distance decay between Louisiana and Mississippi is going to be greater because they're closer together. Uh, so there's going to be uh, more interaction and stuff like that. Uh, the distance decay between Texas and Mississippi is going to be less because they are farther apart, meaning there's going to be less interaction between the two places. Did you know that Columbus took 36 days to get from Spain to the Bahamas? Did you know? Nowadays, that trip could only take 30, 31 hours because of new technologies like airports. This makes places like Spain and the Bahamas feel closer together and more interconnected and stuff like that. The time between the places has compressed, and this makes the distance between the places feel even more compressed, and this contributes to the phenomenon known as time-space compression. Oh yeah, pattern. That exists too. Assortment of things in a place. That's a pattern for ya. Here we see the pattern of voting districts in Virginia. It's the assortment of voting districts. Very, very simple, and that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like the video, that helps me out. Leave a comment with a criticism, I love criticism. Complete the scale check on the screen, it's an FRQ. They're very, very cool. Um, as well. Oh yeah, if you want help on MCQs, links in the description down below and the top comment because that's pretty pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.